This is Selina Hastings' superb, as William Boyd puts it, The Secret Lives of Somerset Maugham. It's a long, very rich biography of one of the most important and well-known writers of any generation. Maugham lived until his uh, 91st year, so from 1874 to 1965. He lived through so much, and that's uh, something that comes through in his writing. Uh, but he was really a writer of the pre-modern era, more Victorian than Edwardian, uh, very far removed from somebody like Virginia Woolf. You couldn't imagine um, Maugham writing something like Woolf uh, to the lighthouse or something like that. Uh, as he himself often said, he was not a creative person. He relied more on the real world around him. This is a fascinating biography, and you learn a lot about where his writing came from, what drove him as a writer. You also learn about the sadness in his life as somebody who lived uh, not so much as a closeted homosexual, but somebody who it, uh, took a long time to realize his true nature. He suffered for his confusion. He married a woman that he was never really well suited for and uh, it took up maybe 15, 20 years of his life with anger and sorrow as a result. Um, his first lover, Gerald Haxton, was uh, a character almost taken from the pages of one of Maugham's own books, a truly colourful soul and um, the uh, spark, I suppose, that, create, that led to the creation of so many of the great books that Maugham wrote. Um, he died very sadly, a long time before Maugham. Maugham looked to fill that, uh, the vacuum, that void left behind, and ended up with a man called Alan Searle, who became quite grasping and quite, uh, I don't know, uh, disingenuous, a bit of a, a, a gold digger, let's say. Um, Hastings' writing is wonderful. She gives the uh, biographical part of the book enough space in which to breathe and the quotes from um, Maugham's own books and from his writings and correspondence are always very well chosen. She's done her hard work but she doesn't make us suffer through it. She's very sparing with uh, detail that way. It's just the important things that we want. Um, as Maugham once said, you don't need to eat a whole lamb to know the taste of mutton. And it's very true of this book as well. So, Miss um, Hastings has done a massive, wonderful job here. And for anybody who's interested in writing generally, and specifically Somerset Moore, would do well to read this. I'm going to give it five stars out of five.